on the top and then the bottom I am going to chalk paint it with the CC Caldwell paints in vintage white. I've never used this before so I'm excited to see how this is going to work but I'm going to use this on the legs and the bottom portion um, of the table as well as the chairs. So let's just get started with the sanding. My reusable wipes, I like to use these and they're actually from the Dollar Tree. Um, pretty good quality, you get six to a pack. So I'm gonna grab one of these and then I got a bowl and I filled it up with warm soapy water and I'm just gonna give um, my table just a really simple, quick wipe down. Um, I don't wanna saturate the wood too much, but saturating the wood is actually um, pretty good if you're going to start sta um, staining um, right away. So. And this is the weathered gray um, Rust-Oleum wood stain. Um, the same thing, but I got it in a sun bleached. In sun bleached. Can get you guys can get these at um, at Michaels. There are clearance right now, so they're only like six dollars. So that's a really good good price. And then I just got a variety of these brushes, different size, different bristle um, bristles, <laughs> different bristles, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dry brush paint the stain on there. I'm gonna start with the lighter color first, because if I start with the darker color, it'll be hard for the light, you know, color to. Now let's take a look and see what it looks like. It is a really pretty color. Fully dip my brush and then just paint over the entire table because I think once I put the gray in, um, the strand that I am going to just wipe it off like that because that's how, um, for some reason, that's the way you're supposed to do stains. So that is what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish my entire table and then come back once, um, come back once I am done with the table. All right, you guys, so I am done um, with the top coat of the sun bleached. I like the way it looks. Um, I like how it's just kind of spotty and yeah, so I like that. If you guys can see, it does look really sun bleached, like it, it's been out in the sun, which is exactly the look I'm going for. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this um, weathered gray Rust-Oleum stain on top and then, ooh, so this is the dark, this is the gray here. So um, I'm going to use this because I did do a test on the wood and it is really pigmented so I'm going to just use this very sparingly. Also I put my gloves on because my hands got stickier than what I thought it was going to. So um, if you guys get stain on your hands, I found out that if you use dish soap and coffee grounds, it actually takes it off really easily. So dish soap and coffee grounds will take off the the stain pretty easily and pretty quickly off your hands, which usually you have to use some kind of mineral spirits or something like that. So I'm going to start using my dry brush and I'm going to um, start adding strokes to this um, tabletop to give it some dimension. I'm just, here we go, let me just give this a quick stir just to make sure that all the color is stirred in. And like I said, I'm just gonna do really light coats because I don't want this to be completely gray. So here we go, we're gonna go into this. Just start adding, let me just dab it just in case. Okay, so I'm gonna just start adding the strokes. On there like that. And it's just gonna be like this really nice weathered, weathered look with still like the highlights from the other color coming through. So I'm gonna go ahead and work this to the tabletop, let it dry for an hour, and then come back. All 
All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna start um, painting. Now, I've already started painting a lot of um, my table, but I wanted to show you what paint I'm using again. This is the CC Caldwell Vintage White um, paints, and then I have this really, um, it's just a really soft bristle brush, so when you are painting a chalk paint, I do recommend you get a really soft bristle, but br soft bristle brush with that. So um, for this chalk paint, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip right the paintbrush and then I'm just gonna make some simple strokes downwards. Now the good thing about this paint is that you don't have to sand your piece of furniture at all. You can just directly paint right over. The thing with chalk paint is that it does come out, um, like you can see the strokes in it. So that's why I just said to use a really soft bristle brush so you don't see too many stroke marks. There you go, and it's just very um, nice and clean. There are some streaks which I actually like, and that's the look I'm going for. But this is what it looks like with basically this is it. This is how you do the rustic um, like farmhouse, rustic farmhouse table um, look. And I'll give you an overview of the tabletop and the whole thing. All right, so here is the finished product. I love it. Love the way this table. Um, turned out. Here's a close-up of the wood. It just looks like um, worn weathered wood. You know how it looked before. I'll insert a picture of what it looked like before. But I just love how this um, entire thing turned out. Here's the bench and here is the fabric that I chose. Um, so and then here's the chairs. I love how chippy it looks. It. And I decided to put together this cute little vignette right here. It looks so pretty. And this is actually was like a DIY. I um I made that and I I hand make um these right here, these little inserts. So but there you go you guys. There is my table. Here is the finished product. I love it. I'm in love with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys like this video and you would like to see more videos like this, definitely give this video a like. Let me know what was your favorite part about the video. And I will talk to y'all later. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.